In this video, you'll learn how to install and set up Facebook comments in WordPress. To get this set up on our site, we'll have to install a plugin. So let's go ahead and head over to our plugins tab and go to add new because we need to install a new plugin and we're looking for lazy FB comments. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click install now and you'll want to make sure you stick around to activate it as well. Great. Once it's activated, you can either go to settings here or if you need to go down to settings, lazy FB comments to configure. Now we'll need to do some configuration and we'll be using the Facebook developer section. So, okay, to get this set up, we're actually going to have to do a little bit of technical setup. And basically we need to create a Facebook app and then add the application ID to the plugin settings page. So let's open up a new tab and we're looking for developers.facebook.com to get things set up. For this, we're going to just click create app. From here, you'll want to create a name and this is a display name. And then you'll want to do a contact email and then you can click create app ID. You may see where you need to say that you're not a robot. Great. Now you'll be taken to the dashboard for the app. Let's go over to settings and click basic. Scrolling all the way down, you want to click add platform and we're choosing website as our platform that we want to add. From here, you want to add your site URL. We'll click save changes. Great, now that's basically all you have to do for that. Now you need to scroll up and get your app ID. You can highlight that and copy it. And then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. Go ahead and paste that ID that we just copied. And then scrolling down, you can make some changes to this. For instance, if you want to load comments, you can choose to either on click or on scroll. That means as, so as soon as someone scrolls down, they'll see the comments and click save changes. And then we'll also need to do the moderate comments area. So let me click on that. And then let's go over to settings. We need to decide on how we're going to handle comment moderating. So we'll see this box pop up and we'll go under moderation rules and we can choose what we want to moderate. So for this, you can automatically close the comments and typically 14 to 20 days is a good way to close commenting so people can't just come back afterwards and create comments on it. So you can do that here. You can also choose the maximum character width so people don't write a book on their comment. If you have moderators, you can go to the moderators tab here and add them here. So they are ones that can go in and allow commenting if you'd like. And once you get everything set up how you want here, let's go ahead and click save. And once we save it, we'll go back. And now we should see it in actions. And I've created a new post that hasn't been closed down. So when you scroll down, you see the comment area here where you can post to also to Facebook or add a comment here and you can sort it by newest to oldest. So now you have commenting on your site. And that's a real quick and easy way to allow Facebook commenting on your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.